everyone welcome back to my youtube channel mrs smith 88 so it has been a long time since you guys have actually seen me on camera today i had two days off in a row and it is actually my birthday that i'm recording this on but i want to go ahead and do a boxy charm pop-up haul for you guys this is from pop-up as well as add-ons it's just kind of been collecting and collecting in my beauty room. I have a lot to show you. There's even another box over to my side here. This potentially may be a two-part video, depending on how long it is. BoxyCharm add-ons are readily approaching again on July 13th. I'm unsure if I'm going to have this video up before or after that. But let me jump in and get started and show you guys what I got. I do not remember prices, so please do not ask me prices, but generally speaking, this stuff is 50, 60, 75, even up to like 90% off. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. The first item I have here is the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. So I did grab those. I was also curious about these because I've heard rave reviews about them. I have used one of them in my shower. Personally, they are not for me. I feel like the sponge is a little bit too coarse for my skin type. So I will be decluttering the unused ones on Mercari. This is the Spongel Freesia Pear Sponge. And this is reusable, I think, up to like eight washes where it is already pre-soaked in shower gel. They smell nice, but like I said, the sponge is just really rough on my skin. I went ahead and I picked up the three Zoeva palettes that they had available. So this one is the Ar Aristo. We're going to go ahead and slide that out of the package. It looks like that, Aristo. And the colors of this one look like that. So that is the Aristo. Like I said, I did buy three of them. Let me go ahead and slide this one back in the package. I also got the Caramel Melange. So it looks like that. Go ahead and slide this one out of the package. This one is very corally warm tones. So that is Caramel Melange from Zoeva. One more Zoeva palette here. And this one is the Coco Blend palette. And I believe that these were, I think, $12 each. So they were a little bit more than half off. This is hands down my favorite of the three. Those colors right there just speak to me. You got your neutrals, you got some plummy purple tones with a little bit of like a burgundy twist in there. So like I said, those colors there are right up my alley. If I had to pick one of the three, it definitely would be the Coco Blend palette. So let's see what else I have here in the box. I picked up one of the Too Faced Rich and Dazzling High Shine Sparkling Lip Glosses. Now I have to say I am not a lip gloss person typically. I have like a liquid lipstick on today. But these, these are not sticky. I hate when you put lip gloss on and your hair sticks to your lip gloss. These are not sticky so I absolutely love them. I have two other ones so when I seen this one pop up and I think it was only $6. It was well worth it. This one is in the shade Two Night Stand. Super cute pinky color. So that was definitely a win for me through Boxy Pop-Up. We have here a Becca lip liner. And I think this was like super cheap. I want to say this was $3. Like it was like crazy, crazy cheap. This one is in the color Pouty. So let's go ahead and pull that out. And Pouty is just a nude shade. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Yeah, nude shade. It might be a little bit coral tone. Might be a little bit too coral tone for me. 
So I'm debating if I will keep this or just end up decluttering it because I like more of a pinky toned nude, not so warm tone. We do have a skincare product here. This is the Tula Pro Glycolicing Gly <laughs> Pro Glycolic Resurfacing Toner. And I am nearly out of my Skin & Co toner. You guys will be seeing that in my empties. I just pretty much let my empties accumulate. I'm letting them get to the top of the basket before I show you guys. Let it be like a really big review of empties. So like I said, this is the Tula toner. Looks like that. Definitely love the frosted blue bottle. Big fan of Tula skincare. It is very, very nice. And to get it at a discount, why not pick it up? So I still have quite a bit here to show you guys. This is the Glam Glow Super Serum 6 Acid Refining Treatment. Pretty sure that this was half off as well. Looks like that. Slide that back in there. I also picked up an hourglass blush. Like this was crazy good deal because these blushes I think are like $38, $40. And I think it was only like 12 bucks. 12 bucks at the boxy pop-up. So this one is in the shade. Let's see here. Ethereal Glow. So Ethereal Glow for this one. Very pretty pink with like a highlighty color. So Super pretty there. Really happy to get that at a good price. This is the, let's see here. This is the Becca Skin Love Brightening and Blur Primer. Believe it or not, I actually forgot to put my primer on today. So let's hope that the makeup sticks. Yes, I am embracing the gray life, if you cannot tell. Just kind of let my hair go all natural right now. So this is the Becca Skin Love Brightening and Blur Primer Base Illuminator. Pretty sure that this was only $6. So $6 for the Becca Primer. I got a eyeshadow palette. This is the Ciate London The Editor Palette Tulum. So it looks like that. Let's go ahead and pop it out of the box and take a look. forgot all about this palette. This is pretty. Look at that. Very pretty. And this was cheap. Everything I got was cheap. So that is the Ciate London Tulum palette. We got another palette. This is the Becca Be A Light Light to Medium Face Palette. I think this was one of the pricier items I got. I think that this might have been $18. Could have been a little bit more. Could have been $24. Pretty sure that it was $18. So let's go ahead and check this out. Outside packaging looks like that. You guys can see the camera and some of my wall decor over there. So this is the Be A Light face palette from Becca. Set that aside. I think I have like five more products, six more products in this box. And then I will go ahead and do a part two for the other box. So the next item I have here, this is the Wonder Beauty Glow Getter Mist. This one, let's see what it looks like. Looks like that setting spray. I really probably did not need more setting spray. But once you get on and start shopping these sales, the prices are so good that you just really can't walk away from them. This is an Iconic London Lip Gloss. It is a peachy nude color. Pretty sure that was like $3. So I'm like, hey, throw it in the cart. We have here another skincare product. This is the Paracone MD No Rinse Micellar Cleansing Treatment. So this is a makeup cleanser or face cleanser. And Paracone is usually like really, really pricey. And I'm pretty sure that this was like only $12 at the BoxyCharm pop-up sale. So three more items left. 
and they are all, I believe, lip products. Let me go ahead and grab those out. And I think they might all be Lorac. So I have here the Lorac Pro Liquid Lipstick in Dusty Rose. Like I said, I am a huge fan of liquid lipstick. I like how it stays on. It doesn't transfer. This is the Dusty Rose shade. And I'm pretty sure these were like six bucks. So six bucks and I think they retail for $18 at um, Ulta. So that is Dusty Rose. I got one more of those, and this one is in the shade Wisteria. So let's go ahead and take a look at Wisteria. Wisteria is a purpley shade, purpley pink, looks like that. And then I think we have a Lorac lip liner here. So let me go ahead and take a look at that. This one is in the shade Dusty Plum. Yes, this is a pro matte lip color. So let's try to open that. There we go. Last item of the bunch before we do part two. So this is one of their lip crayons. Looks like that. This color is like right up my alley. So, so, so pretty. So that is everything I got for part one of the BoxyCharm pop-up sale. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Definitely stay tuned because I'm going to hopefully hop right into part two for you guys. So like I said, if you guys like these kind of videos and you like seeing what I got, definitely stay tuned for part two. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye everyone.